Hey, what's going on? It's Jerry Glean back on the scene here with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to tune your 808s in FL Studio so that way they are in key with the rest of the instruments in your song. So let's hop right in and get to it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to find which 808 sound you're going to use in your beat. So for me, I'm going to use this 808 right here. So that's a pretty good sounding 808. Um, and now over here in the browser on the left side of the screen, you just want to right click that 808 and select edit and audio editor. Okay, so here you have the 808 audio file pulled up in Edison. So this is the audio editor for FL Studio. So all you really need to do is come up to this little flag symbol right here. This is the region section and you wanna click on it and select detect pitch regions. So you can see up here in the top left of the 808 audio file now, it says F2. So that means that the actual pitch of this 808 sample is an F note. So you can now close out Edison and you can come over here to the browser and drag that 808 to your channel rack. So once you have the 808 pulled up in the channel rack, you just wanna go ahead and click on it and come up here to the top of the screen and select the envelope settings page. So now here at the bottom of the screen, you can see that there's a piano and it says that the root note is set to C5. So you can see it highlighted in blue here. Now the problem with this is if we left the root note at C, then when we went to play a C note, it's really gonna play an F because we've already determined that the pitch of the 808 file that we're using is F. So we wanna go ahead and set our root note to F. So the way to do this is just come over here to the F note on this piano and you just right click. And now you can see here that it changed the root note to F5. So whatever pitch your 808 file is in, that's the root note that you wanna select. So now when I hit the C note, it's actually gonna play a C. So a quick tip with your 808s is you wanna come up here to the top and select this wrench and come down here and select cut self. So if you didn't have this setting selected, then if you played an 808 note, it's gonna allow that 808 sample to play all the way through. Even if you started to play another note, um, they're gonna clash because um, the 808 doesn't know to cut itself right there and begin the next note. So you always wanna have cut self selected so that way they don't play on top of each other. So now that I have cut self selected, I can go ahead and come up with a pattern for the 808 and not worry about the 808s clashing with each other. So always come into that wrench tab and select cut self and that'll help clean up your 808 sound a lot. All right, so that's it for today. I hope y'all learned something. If you're confused about anything, go ahead and leave it in the comments section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and I'll see y'all in the next video.